Wrinkle, thank you. Let's get down to the watch party now with CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman continuing our team coverage. He's at Iron City where Blazer fans got exactly what they hoped for tonight, Robert. Yeah, Jack, since uh, since the game concluded, most of the fans here have trickled out, but organizers estimate that there were somewhere between 200 and 300 people here at the crowd's apex, making for an electric atmosphere. When we're going to do a Iron City's general manager James Claiborne made a few predictions hours before his venue's UAB watch party began. I think it's going to be loud, I think it's going to be emotional, and I think it's going to be victorious. He was right on all counts. Seconds after the opening kickoff, the Blazers scored, sending the watch party attendees into a frenzy. I'm really proud of UAB in general to see all this support, but I'm also proud of this resurrection story. That, that, that I mean, this really reclamation project that has occurred here and it took a ton of community support. The fruits of that community support are evident in the outcome. UAB went on to defeat Northern Illinois, giving the Blazers their first bowl win in program history. But to some fans like Logan McClendon, a junior at UAB, tonight wasn't just about the outcome. It wasn't necessarily about winning or losing. It was about this city coming together to support his alma mater. I'm a third generation Blazer, so coming out to a place like Iron City and finally seeing like the whole city rally around you know, Birmingham team UAB just means the world to me. I absolutely love it. That last fan that you heard from called this the best day of the year, and he's hopeful that the, that the energy that you saw here tonight will be continuing for years to come. Live in Birmingham, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. All right.